I'm Richard Price. I, as he said, I represent the Chillest Employees Association. To give you a little background on who we are, there are four bargaining groups in the city for the city employees. There's the Western uh, Council of Engineers, that's the smallest bargaining group. The next largest bargaining group is the International Association of Firefighters. The next largest bargaining group is the Police Officers Association. The largest bargaining group for the city of Chula Vista is the Chula Vista Employees Association. We represent 491 employees of the city of Chula Vista. We're the people that do the kind of stuff that you see done every day. We're the people that clean the parks, we man the buildings, we work in the, the planning departments, we, uh, we run the gymnasiums, the pools, the libraries, we provide the public work services, all the services that you see go on every day that affect the quality of life for all the residents of Chula Vista. We believe that the services we provide also accept, uh, impact the public safety of the city of Chula Vista. If you look at what we do, some of the programs we have, like Stretch and Dash and Libraries, which are up for being cut. They are after school programs for kids. When you have kids involved in after school programs, they're less likely to be involved in criminal activity. They're also less likely to be victims of criminal activity by other people. So our folks providing the programs like Stretch and Dash have an impact on the community's safety. <coughs> The, the folks that trim the trees, when you're driving along you don't think about tree trimming being public safety, but think about the trees when they grow over and cover the stop signs so people don't know there's a stop sign there. Or when the trees grow over the street lights <coughs> on, the, on your neighborhood streets so that the streets are dark and you can't see anymore. That kind of thing impacts public safety. The pool programs, the, the parks and rec programs, all of these things directly impact the safety of our families and our children, our communities on a daily basis. These services are the services the city's talking about cutting out. We cannot see the city's, in my opinion, we can't see the city's budget being balanced by cutting the services the city's supposed to provide to you, the residents of the city. We have had, this is like the fourth time in the last 15 months that the city's come and said, we have a financial crisis, we're going to cut the budget, so let's get rid of the employees, let's cut in services, let's provide less services to the community, and less employees to provide those services as a way of balancing the budget. We continually hear in council meetings that the biggest piece of the pie for the, city, for the city's budget is employee services, employee salaries and, and, and uh, health insurance and stuff. Well, I say, well, they should be. We're the ones out there providing the services, doing the work. And we need to be there. We need to be there to be able to provide those services. One of the things they want to cut is, <clears throat> excuse me, is park rangers. In their cuts, they want to do away with the park ranger program. The park rangers are out there working in the parks, servicing the parks. Uh, one of the programs they do is when folks want to use the gazebos in our parks, they can reserve the gazebos. They pay a fee to reserve the gazebos. Part of the park rangers' duties is to ensure that those gazebos are used by the people that paid the fees. If they do away with the park rangers, there's nobody going to be able to provide those services. They're going to do away with the number of people that are mowing the grass in the parks, that are cleaning the parks, that are maintaining the parks. So the, the quality of facilities and usages that we have are going to diminish. They're talking about cutting back on recreation programs for the parks. So there'll be less organized recreation programs in the parks. That means more people out doing things they shouldn't be doing. They, all of the services they're talking about cutting, the people that provide those services, impacts all of us in our daily lives. There has to be other ways to fix the budget than just cutting employees and cutting services to the city. That's kind of what our message is, what we've been talking with the city about. Well, in a few minutes we're going to be talking about solutions. And we'll, we'll give you some of our ideas there. But just in a nutshell, what we think is going to take a multi-phase approach to this. You can't solve the city's 
budget crisis is on the back of the people that work in the city and provide the services to the community. Everybody needs to work together to solve the crisis. The city, the city management, city employees, and city residents. But by working together, I think we can come up with ways and ideas and solutions to address this crisis so that it doesn't keep reoccurring. Most of you know this is the fourth time the city said we have a budget crisis. And they do. We're not denying that. But let's fix the problem now so we don't have another financial crisis in six months or a year or a year and a half down the road. And by all of us working together, I think we can do that. Have I made my time, Jose?